So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Aarti K. Jairaj uh, for scoring rank number one in MCH Reproductive Medicine in any SS session 2022 session. Thank you, sir. Congratulations to you. Thank you, sir. Great. Can we know a brief background about yourself from where you started till date? Uh, sir, I did my MBBS from uh, Coimbatore Medical College. I completed in 2017. Then I did my MD Ops and Gynae from Ames Delhi uh, from 2018 to 2021. Then uh, I had a first exam in April 2021. I prepared uh, mm -hmm. for uh, 20, 25 days. Uh, I know with that uh, preparation, I will not get into the seat. So uh, I got a good mark, but I didn't get selected for the inter uh, departmental assessment. And uh, after that, uh, I took a break for uh, six months and uh, gave exam in uh, November 2021. So I got ranked two in that, but there was only one seat. Uh, so I didn't get into it. And during that six months, I also completed my DNB and uh, MRCOG part one. Then, uh, uh, since I have prepared for six months, uh, I didn't want to prepare for more time. So, I joined a senior resident in Jitmar. So, uh, in uh, Jitmar also, I took classes for uh, UG students. So, uh, that preparation also was helpful. And uh, I gave a NEET exam in uh, September uh, 1st. I didn't want to get into NEET, but I gave so that I, uh, if I have an exam, I have a target to read. So I gave NEET exam. I got a rank 18 in that. Uh, and uh, in between, I was, uh, I was about to give up. But uh, then again, I took a break and started again. And uh, in uh, this number, I gave exam and I got rank 1. So what you, what you did between last NESS exam of rank 2 to 18th rank in NEET SS September, to that to first rank from uh, that to November in ESS. So what was uh, that you did between NEET and in ESS? So uh, I got rank two. So I thought uh, what all mistakes I did in the previous exam. So where all I had a, a lacuna, I thought of that. So uh, in uh, April 2021 exam, it was just uh, AIMS exam. That time in ESS didn't come. Correct. So that pattern and this pattern is a bit different. In uh, AIMS exam, we just all 80 questions are from uh, uh, reproductive medicine. But in uh, November uh, 2021 exam, it was from both uh, general gynecology and obstetrics as well as specialty. Correct. So, but uh, for that, that was the first exam. So I didn't concentrate much on the general gynecology. So during this period, I uh, gave importance to general gynecology. And along with that, uh, I uh, uh, read the uh, reproductive medicine also. I read uh, Gardner and uh, Kamini Rao from uh, cover to cover. And uh, uh, in speed, uh, I saw the videos and gave tests. And I gave model uh, in ESS and NEET exams also. So, uh, because the reproductive medicine is one area where if you want to go through, you need to read the speciality. It is not like, uh, I mean, a neat SS of general OBG. And, uh, and in, in, in that, that is not a routine uh, syllabus in an OBG where we need to read for a speciality. Yes, sir. And, uh, it, so, the reproductive medicine is uh, not yes. in the MD curriculum. It's like correct, correct. You have correct. to read the uh, co concepts are different fully. So, were you able to, I mean, did you go through the sessions and videos uh, in, the, in the app? by the, the faculties or of the core reproductive medicine group. Yes, sir. So, it was very helpful. And there are uh, separate uh, embryology classes as, and spiroff uh, classes also, are there, which is very helpful. Yeah, this is specially designed, actually. I mean, for reproductive medicine, it's a very small, a lot, lot, many people try for it because of the number of seats. And, uh, and, and so very specialized content that we always have it there. And uh, how many questions did you attend this exam? Usually I attend less, sir. But uh, before the exams, I saw your video where you told to attend maximum number of questions. So I gave uh, 78. I attempted out of 78. Eight. I always say attend all questions. 
so, so that the chances of getting because this or need to get only first or second rank I mean nothing only first rank then we need to give the maximum chances yes sir uh, for that and so, one month uh, before the exam also you gave a video where like if uh, for some people need ss will suit for some any ss will suit so i thought okay this one month i will prepare well so that was a motivation for me yes because both the exams are totally different and uh, people who who prepare previously we used to pre pg days one preparation multiple exams here it is not that way that exam that preparation and uh, that preparation. It's totally uh, different uh, type of exams so it is always worthwhile uh, to try any ss as a primary exam yes, then sir. followed by neat ss yes so, what is the message that you want to give to the students of uh, aspiring uh, mcst productive medicine uh, be focused in your target and uh, be patient when there is only one seat it's a uh, you get impatient like how much ever effort you put sometimes you feel it takes time uh, like i got rank two after that uh, in july 2022 session there was no seat then again uh, this session there was a seat so sometimes there is no seat and sometimes there is only uh, always there is only one seat so it takes time even though how much effort effort you put so be patient and uh, have a support system my friend very nice doctor because uh, the interviews that i am making for the ineas thank you sir thank students. you so much and uh, i would like to thank my parents and uh, sister and all my friends and seniors who were having my back during this time excellent doctor i wish you all the best and all the success for a great career in uh, reproductive medicine and best thank wishes you, and keep going all the best thank you sir